I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about volumes by slicing. In problem number 35, I'd like to use the washer method to find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by y equals x, y equals 2x, and y equals 6 is revolved around the y-axis. All right, so <clears throat> In any disk method, washer method problem, the first thing we want to do is let's just set up a picture of the region to be rotated and get a feel for what it looks like if we did rotate. So uh, let's draw a picture. Here's my x and y axis. I've got the function y equals x. This is y equals x. We've got the function y equals 2x, which has a slope of 2. Ooh. So this is y equals 2x. And then we've got y equals 6. So let's just put 6 right here. And so here's y equals 6. And so this region right here is revolved around the y-axis. When we revolve something like that around the y-axis, what's the shape going to look like that we generate? Well, first of all, it looks like a, a large cone. With a smaller cone cut out of the middle. So in the middle, we have a smaller cone cut out of the middle. OK, so you can see it's kind of like a cone with a little cone cut out. Uh, how do we find the volume of something like this? Well, let's set it up. Uh, you can see right now that if I took any cut in the y direction, this thing would be a washer, not in the x direction. We've got to be cutting up the y axis to see these washers. And you can see a washer right here, this little washer, um, is perpendicular to the y-axis. And what that means is I'm going to be cutting from a y value to a y value. Inside the integral, I need y stuff, and I'm going to put a dy at the end. So it's all y stuff. So if I'm cutting up the y-axis, I use all y stuff inside. Okay? So I'm going to integrate this thing from a y value to a y value. So I start cutting my washers at zero, and I stop cutting my washers when I get to 6. So I'm integrating from 0 to 6 of, we now know this is pi times the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. So I'm going to put in my pi times the outer radius squared. And now this is where I have to be just a little bit careful because the outer radius in this case, if I'm sitting here and I've got this washer right here, the outer radius is this function, but I don't want to write x. I need to think of this as a function of y. But y equals x is the same thing as x equals y, so this is the outer radius in this case is y, but I need to square that minus the inner radius squared. Well, the inner radius, I just go to this piece. If you're looking out here, the outer radius is here. The inner radius is here. So the inner radius is the function y equals 2x. But if I think of that as a function of y, that's x is equal to y over 2. So I need to subtract y over 2 squared dy. So remember, if we're uh, taking our washers and they're perpendicular to the y-axis, then I need a y-value, a y-value, functions of y, dy. All right. Okay, so let's rewrite this a little bit. Uh, this is equal to, I could bring the pi outside of the integral, integral from 0 to 6 of, this is y squared, 
minus, be a little careful here, when we square this, this is y squared divided by 2 squared, which is 4 dy. I could rewrite that, that's pi times the integral from 0 to 6 of uh, y squared minus a fourth of a y squared is 3 fourths of a y squared dy. If I wanted to, I could pull the 3 fourths out. So just write this as 3 fourths pi times the integral from 0 to 6 of y squared dy. It's an easy antiderivative. I still have 3 fourths pi uh, times antiderivative of y squared is 1 third y cubed evaluated from 0 to 6. Okay, and now I guess to plug in the 6, I need to cube 6, right? So what is 6 times 6 times 6? Uh, we have 3 fourths pi times 1 third times 6 cubed. Uh, and then I plug in 0 and I get 0. So this is my answer. I see that some 3's cancel and I'm left with 6 cubed. Let's see. That's 6 times 36, which is 182.16. Is that correct? 216 uh, over uh, looks like 4 times pi. Uh, 216 divided by 4 is otherwise known as 54. So this would be 54 pi and we are done. So this is my volume in cubic units.